And uh, I'm really kind of looking forward to this now. Is this on my con? Yeah, it's on. Good. Because uh, all the other installs that I've done for this game have been one disc. And now this game, it took five discs. So I'm like, damn, that's a lot of content, right? And uh, I'm just kind of like, what could have changed from one game to the next that all of a sudden we're jumping from one disc to five? So I'm, I'm really, I'm curious. And uh, I'm just, I don't know, kind of excited uh, about starting up this version of Assassin's Creed and seeing what's going on. Uh, I have to admit that the last game's kind of a disappointment because I honestly don't like playing as a Templar. I feel like I'm playing the bad guy. And, uh, you know, even when you're playing, uh, what is that, Assassin's Creed 3, starting off as, as Kenway, you know, here I am thinking that I'm the good guy, and then uh, next thing you know, I'm trying to kill George Washington. Like, what? Wait a minute, something's not right here, right? And, uh, you know, and then the story flips, and you're playing as Connor, and, and it all kind of starts to make sense. And uh, uh, this last Assassin's Creed, the Rogue one, was the one where it seemed like everything was starting to blend together, right? They're starting to, to tie up all those different storylines between Assassin's Creed 3 and 4 you know, Black Flag, Liberation, all that. There are, like, little bits and pieces in there. And, uh, again, though, it's just, we're talking one disc, right? Like, and this thing's five. I'm just like, holy cow. Like, am I even able to follow everything? Like, we'll see. I'm just, I'm really curious. So, but let's get started, and we'll go through and hopefully get through at least a couple missions. Uh, one of the things that I tend to do on these playthroughs is that uh, all the uh, the chests, right, and on all the other collectibles and things, uh, I tend to kind of do that on my own off stream, and uh, you know, we really just kind of catch the good <laughs> stuff. Uh, I mean, catch the actual missions themselves, and and uh, all that conversation that takes place kind of walks us through the storyline. So anyhow, yeah, with that, let's see what this game has to offer. Have we now? Opened a window into the past. This is Total Immersion Entertainment. With the press of a button, you will experience the most pivotal moments in history. All from the comfort of home. Sounds exciting, huh? <laughs> Welcome to Helix. Where the past is your playground. Double helix, huh? Yeah, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? The past is your playground. Gosh, where would we go? I have no idea if I was able to actually, like, you know, decide where in the world, you know, which ancestor I'd want to kind of discover. And, well, I have no idea what all these options are. This is, like, already intimidating. What the heck? I mean, I guess it's probably a good thing that I can't even pick those others. Uh, it almost looks like this is going to be a mission-based game, right? So you play different characters and perhaps kind of start to uncover different pieces of the puzzle. Well, let's start off with what we have here in front of us. The Tragedy of Jacques de Molay. And Last we'll see what's going on. Knights Templar, Jacques de Molay was a man of principle, a towering intellect, betrayed by those he trusted. In this episode of Fallen Heroes... Experience Jacques Episode. de Molay's final tragic hours through the eyes of one of his closest friends and advisors. Oh, weird. Oh, yeah. Something tells me this game is really going to be different than the other ones. Yeah, let's see how this pans out for us. Now, and what's the five stars about? Does that mean like people are rated that play in the mission that this guy is like, kind of, you know, that you interact with or what? Well, uh, we'll, uh, we'll see. Let's, uh, let's get some, uh, some, uh, Old school rap going here, so we can progress through this thing. All right, look on this. Jacques de Molay. Hmm. Sounds kind of weird. Molay. Oh, Took a little bit to load, huh? this song in a while. Not 
maybe I will turn off the music. That way we can really listen in on what's going on. Yeah, Alright, we don't want interruptions. We'll discover this game Hello together. There, a friend of the temple. Flauheim. The council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Here again with the Templars. Oh, snap. That's no way now. rotting in a cell at this moment. I cannot fathom bunch of assassins <clears throat> we are betrayed try us old men defend the temple not you brother I have a different task for you come with me yeah where are we going I guess piece of Eden here, perhaps. Oh, God. Faster than we expected. Another hand at work here. The Pope, the assassins. Assassins? I thought the Mongol Khans broke their power decades ago. The assassins are far older than Massacre, but their anarchic delusions are virulent as the plague. Less easily eradicated. Can't take us out that fast, right? I mean, come on. Oh, where am I going? I'm already getting lost. We will not prevail this night. Make haste. You may yet save our order. What must I do? Go to the tower. Take the sword. Hide them. They must not fall into the assassin's hands. Yeah, don't be such a coward, right? I'm gonna have to read what all that stuff's about here in a moment. Cow. Is it I think the music's a little loud, right? I wonder if you guys can even hear me. Yes, that is a ladder. Yes. Come on, Jack. Man, but why are we always playing the bad guys? Can't we be the good guys for once? Come on. I think that's another reason I don't like these newer Assassin's Creed games. They're always playing the damn Templars. Uh, maybe some of y'all actually wanted this, and that's why they did it. Oh, what's going on here? What is that? Tear gas? <clears throat> oh, it's an assassin. Um, I don't even know where he went. Oh, there he is. Oh, you were kind <laughs> of hiding. Yeah, jumping over those is definitely not the fast way to go. Here we go with more long chase sequences like in the last game. Oh, that's weird. That's kind of a surprise. He has a two-handed sword. Dude, how are you supposed to, like, be an assassin with something like that? Oh, shoot, what happened? Yeah, we're going to be doing a sound check here in a moment, because this music seems really loud to me. In fact, let's kind of turn it down, because... Let's see, is it my mic? Maybe it's my mic. Or my headset, I mean. It's a little better. This is weird. Oh, dodge now. That's different. Alright, so the com the combat's definitely a little more complex in this game. Kind of beefing it up a little bit. That's cool. What do we do? Switch swords? Oh, snap. Oh, I must have uh, picked up the right sword. <laughs> well, let's go with Jacques de Molay.
Someone tells me I'm gonna get jumped while I'm checking this thing out. Why would I put that away? I thought I was supposed to run off with it. You're supposed to hide this stuff, right? Makes no sense to me. I'm gonna turn around, I'm gonna get stabbed in the neck. So strange. Where am I? Some kind of hidden tune? That's the Grand Master himself. Nice. I saw it coming, right? I called that one. Seven years. Oh, man. Is he knocked out? He went in some kind of coma? It took seven years to burn these guys? Seriously? Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty. And you, King Philip, no punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple. I curse you! <laughs> curse you to the 13th generation of your blood! You shall be cursed! 13th generation, huh? Dang. Consumed in flames of hunger and wrath, thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, Yeah, let's get a sniffer running. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. Oh, it's these people again. Okay. I have a visual. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. Oh. I'm Bishop. Not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen mm. carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. Sure. These guys can count their fingers and countless corporations. Been through this drill. Kind of familiar with it. But now hmm. they want control over history itself. If that doesn't frighten you, it should. But Thanks for following, kid. And I need your help. Deacon preload gene sequence uh, AD sixteen B thirteen I eighty seven. That's about time we got some new blood in this thing. This must be the hackers. We gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. Mm -hmm. Not new to this. I think I'm pretty well aware of their struggle. Assassins and Templars. That was kind of an odd way to start. Oh, I love these games too, kid. Oh, man. Like, there's no doubt. Yeah, Sorry, but the time as mentioned on some earlier videos, so the Ezio <laughs> series, those are my all-time favorites. Just like the long, drawn-out storyline. I mean, you really get to kind of know what drives Ezio, right? It's just kind of a great way to start off the game. Oh, we'll see, though. This one's kind of starting off funny to me. Oh, wait. This is, uh, this is how the other game ends. Oh, I'm sorry. I stabbed oh, no. you in the freaking heart, Charles. I bet you this kid's gonna come after me in this game, right? Like it has to start off that way. Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. Sure, he will. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. Maybe we should have gone with them. <laughs> <laughs> and the cut stabbed in the heart. A kid by your side, maybe. Yeah, well, who knows the way these it. games go? Like heck, after all, Ezio's what whole family got hanged, right? Uh, what? Oh, I'm sure this kid's gonna see my face. <laughs> yeah, I think he looks funny too. <laughs> Hmm. 
Yeah, that didn't take much, huh? Oh, do I get to play as a kid now? Oh, this is new. Oh, dang, look at that. Alright. Oh, little flirt, you. Right. Let's see if he pulls her hair. <laughs> and do those braids. Oh, snap. Oh. I... I was paying attention in the last game. Yeah, that's what allowed the assassin to sneak through, or the Templar, right? Yeah, they were picking stuff up from the doorway there. How funny. See, everything ties together. Yeah, the graphics seem so much nicer in this game. I'm, I'm liking it. Bet you can't steal one. Steal? Why would we steal? I mean, I suppose, but... Oh, is one of these worth the apple of Eden? <laughs> oh, snap! I didn't see there was a soldier there. Bring your pursuer's line of sight, huh? Alright. Oh, what an interesting way to introduce the game mechanics, right? This time through a child. That's, you know, that's definitely some advancements in this particular version. No, you can chop off my hand. <laughs> uh, you're walking and I'm running? Oh man, how do I get out of here? I suppose I have to go back the way I came, right? I think the blue is the guard. Okay. So he'll probably head back. He needs to attract guards away from the door. I'm not sure what that means. Use your last known position. What does that mean? I gotta let him see me? Guess let's find out, right? You blind? I'm not that far away, bud. Come on. Check me out. I'm ordering you to stand still. Oh, I will do just that. Oh, okay. Now I get it. So that's where he thinks I'm at. Alright, and off we go. I just heard someone in the background. Oh, what? you were using me. Look at that. You must have been hungry. What? Okay, this is Q, the Templar. I'm here with my father. So am I. This is exactly when I walked by. With the king. What should we do now? Come on, where am I? Listen. Where am I? Don't worry, they'll never get this person here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. Oh no, your daddy's dead now. Oh snap. So they never saw me walk by, but I walked right by these kids in AC Rogue. Oh no. Oh man, he's gonna grow up to be a an assassin and he's gonna come after the Templars. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, kid. It was me, I did it. It was me, man. Oh, it's sad. Oh, he's out. Didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. That sucks. I know what that's like. Right. Who's gonna take him in? The royal family, maybe? Who's that guy? Damn, what'd be going through your head right now if you experienced Arnold. a moment like this? Arnold. Is he Look at me. Is he hallucinating? Oh. Oh. Sorry, Mr. Cake. I'll eat cake later. So he must have been going in to see her dad. Oh, what a sad way to start off this particular version, huh? I don't remember any of the other ones starting off all sad like that. Besides the Ezio series anyway, right? Really? Dang. Hey, what? Hey, what do you mean 13. we're just going to take four years? Alright, so first we were seven years, and now we're 13 years. I'm not sure where this whole seven year bit... <laughs> What's going on now? Calm down, Victor. I've only come for my watch. It's my watch. I want it fairly. Well, you 
just world, Victor, I would agree with you, but this is not a just world. This is France. You're a dead man. No. Okay. Yeah. Childless cow. The childless. Childless. Fatherless kid. <laughs> of course, he's a troublemaker. Right. Dad died right in front of his eyes. <laughs> yeah. I just had a nice chat with your brother. You go. Fetch the marshal. Hold on a minute. No, oh my good. What did he say? That's French, I assume. Sieble. Oh, man. Uh, the only phrase that I picked up from uh, all the Italian playing these other games was Resquiescat en pace. What is this? Slide an E? To, to slide over. Oh, okay. That's different. Don't get tackled. Pass over and under. Oh, come on. Wait, that was a different. Huh. Maybe I should just let him get to the uh, marshal so I can try this again. It's not housebroken, huh? Ah. There we go. So shift and E. Let's try this one right here. Oh, you gotta like do it right at the right moment. Okay. Oh, come on. What's his name? Arlo? Oh my word, this is taking forever. I don't want to miss him this time though. Hey, just because people work with their hands doesn't mean they're not educated. Alright? Oh, let's go up. Oh, what is that? Okay, somebody saw me. I didn't break LOS, right? Who is seeing me? Are there guards that I'm just not aware of? And I think I just got shot in the back. Oh my gosh, okay, yeah, get up there, Arlo. Come on. Oh, Arno. I see. Go to the De La Ser Estate. Oh, what? that's different. Yeah, I've never seen that either. Now we can actually go into homes from the top? Is that... Oh, I'm just curious. I feel like I need to check this out. To reveal location icons in the world. How do I get down? Okay, so go down the ladder. Oh, what's going on? Cut some levers? Uh, they're not freaking out that I'm in their house? It's okay, guys. Just saying hi. Okay, that uh, must happen all the time, apparently. <laughs> I'm sure if I grabbed this girl, he'd come after me. Okay, is there a haystack down there? No? Alright. Take the uh, easy way down then. Huh, that's interesting. And we made it home. And where in God's name have you been? Is that the big. Yeah, that's the dad and the. Got you now, you little shit! <laughs> Just a little misunderstanding. Nothing. To Your master's arbor in a common criminal. In broad daylight, he broke into my home and stole wow. my watch. Did he indeed? Well, I'm sure the <laughs> Marshalsea would be more than willing to sort this out. Oh, no. Nice. Oh, what, as Olivier? <laughs> uh, a most serious oh, accusation against your ward, sir. He robbed me. <laughs> of what, <laughs> precisely? My own watch, I suppose. I only have two solar rings. Don't give me that look. Who's Victor that? cheats when he plays Pharaoh. Everyone knows this. Arno? Who are you talking to? No one, monsieur. Yeah, You'll be happy that? to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling a marshalsea. Again. Je vous remercie, monsieur. What is this? Merci time, beaucoup. Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. Well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. Ooh, we'll talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here. Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. She'll need an escort. The daughter. Don't she with you so preoccupied? <laughs> One of you running amok is quite enough. Right. Here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. <laughs> sure he does. Part. What was that? Give my regards to Elise. Sure, he's like, just make trouble with her. Sequence one, memory one. 
continue we rate this memory yeah maybe i should rate it because this felt really different than a lot of the other missions that we've done in these games i'll just give it a four just i don't know maybe it's just like the newness of it all right we'll see how the rest of these compare that's right, so what I do. I gotta go pick up some chores. <laughs> is that what he said? Oh, and I gotta get that yeah, chest too, wherever the heck that is. Yeah, right, so you can still blend in with the crowd. I see, I see. Yeah, the look of the game just it's so different to me. It's I, I really like it. Just like they actually put in some effort on the graphics or something. I don't know. It doesn't feel all blurry and I don't even know how to describe the difference. It's, it's much sharper. Oh, look at that. So you can even see inside the chest. Oh, that was some pretty sweet detail there. Though I don't see what in the world I picked up. Apparently I picked something up. Well, well let's go see what the chores are. Difficulty one. Good. Starting me off easy. And I thought I was supposed to be this yacht guy. Oh, you would love that. Break my heart, Olivier. If I weren't here, <laughs> who'd do all your work for you? The horses need brushing, boy. Get to it. Oh, he likes me. Septen <laughs> ma. Oh, I need to turn on the captions. That's what I need to do. You know, pick up a little bit of French, right? Besides je ne sais pas. And merci. Merci, monsieur. Well, good thing you know I know some Spanish because there's some overlap there, romance language. You know, I, I catch a few of the words here and there. Oh, what now? Oh, what's up, big boy? Some trouble, mon ami. I got your back, man. A letter for Sir de la Serre. It's very important. Oh, calm yourself. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna make it. Any faster if you drop dead of exhaustion. He has a point. Yeah, yeah. I go. Uh, we'll get it done, man. Let's go. No, uh, though I don't know if I can run that much faster. Oh, the cow! Dude, really? It would not point and click that way, right? That was funny. I swear they surged as soon as they saw me. <laughs> okay, okay, where are we going? We gotta follow the rooftops. Really? A carriage going through the city like this? There's no way it'd be going that fast. Gosh, man, you couldn't even, like... Well, if it was a bicycle, perhaps, but... Walnut. Oh, talking colors? Oh, man, I'm gonna end up like... Yeah, I know, they drive fast, right? Must have a professional driver. Uh, this must be to get me oriented to the uh, mechanics of jumping through the rooftops and oh that that's not gonna work come on yeah go along the edge oh that's slowing me down come on come on all right we made it what happened oh wrong carriage ah uh, I see. Gonna have me unlock my first tower. Ah, that's a pretty cool way to go about it. They actually made it purposeful. I don't recall. Uh, maybe some of the other games were like that, but I, I don't really remember that. It's like, no, I actually have a need. A purpose in revealing the map here. Let's go. We will make our way up. Oh, we got our eagle vision back. Yeah, a lot of the same familiar tools that you see in the rest of the Assassin's Creed games. I'm going to assume there's a haystack around here somewhere, too. Just haven't seen it yet. Oh yeah, there's definitely a lot more detail on the graphics on these games. Hmm. 
wonder how the open world is going to differ. Maybe it'll be like some of the earlier versions. Yeah. Like, it's really kind of baffled me that there's no... But Assassin's 3, you had a horse. Assassin's Creed 3, right? And then after that, it seemed like... There's no horse, right? There's no way to travel quickly besides just, like, the fast travel. Let's see. Where's... Oh, there you go. There's the haystack. Hold plus E to us. Oh, okay. That's a little different. Huh. Huh. Oh, I should have grabbed the chest while I was over there, right? I suppose I can still go back. You know, as mentioned, I, I usually like to get the collectibles in between streams, but heck, it's right here. I might as well just grab it. Can't believe I missed it. I wasn't even paying attention. Oh, but where? Where is it? Let's see. Is it going to be below? Oh. Is, uh, no, that's not it either. Come on, Arno. Oh, you're rusty, man. Oh, it's right in front of the church. Yeah, that should have probably, like, twisted my ankle at a minimum, right? Oh, and the guards don't care, I guess, either. That's cool. Oh, <laughs> what did I, what was I just saying? <laughs> let's see, let's get to know this combat a little better. Oh, what's up, guys? Uh, it definitely takes a lot more to kill these guys, or maybe it's just the fact that I have a weak sword. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm, I'm rusty, too. Still getting used to the combat here. Huh, I was trying to dodge on that one just to see what that might look like. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, that whole dodge functionality isn't straightforward as I thought it might be. It's not like you're playing Zelda, right? And you just jump out of the way. I, guess that, I suppose that's a good thing, though. That's true. They actually make you, you know, trying to keep you honest. Uh, and if anything, who knows, maybe they're, they're trying to have us avoid combat. That's, that's one of the things that, you know, an AC Rogue, hey, I didn't care, I just went in. I liked, I liked the combat. Alright, let's see, there's supposedly a chest around here. Up top, perhaps? Let's go up top. Nothing there. You know, I should see if... I must have missed it. Uh, let's, let's see if this works the same way some of the other Assassin's Creed games work. And if you mark it on your map. Yeah. It'll show you exactly where it's at. Did that work? I'm not so sure that it did. I don't think it marked it. Let's try one more time. Zoom in a little bit, maybe. Huh. So, oh, set marker with the... Okay, that's different. A space instead of a... I don't remember if it was left click or right click last go around, but it's definitely one of those two. No, I can hear the... Uh, I don't even know what... I should name that sound. But very familiar sound. Oh, are you mad at me? Oh, she must be mad at me. For stealing her chest. <laughs> oh man, I'm I'm already also noticing a significant difference in the number of buildings that you can go through in this game. There are many more openings than there were in prior versions of Assassin's Creed. That's that's pretty cool. Should make it much easier to avoid the guards <laughs> after I you know do something dumb, get myself in trouble. Well, yeah, let's proceed on with the mission now. We, we'll get these chests later. Let's see, where am I going? Let's, let's look at our map again. Alright. Well, it looks like I'm in the right place. Let's see. Nice. Looks like they fucking have some rocket ammo from that armor. Enemies will see you if you're running while branded, huh? Okay, I'm looking for some lower gallery, but I'm not really sure what that means. The lower gallery, uh, an art gallery, uh, some kind of 
Yeah. That, that term means nothing to me. A gallery? Oh, ooh, and what's that gold chest mean? Oh, okay. Whoa, buddy. Well, I suppose that means I'm supposed to find my way inside there, right? What in the heck, man? Really, guys? Jeez. Yeah, someone needs to lay off the roids, man. Okay, let's see. Well, they should see me. Let's find out. Okay, they should, but they didn't. Nice. Let's look for an opening. It looks like it might be at the second floor level. So, maybe if I just go up the side of the building. Let's check that out. This looks different. Oh, come on, guys. Did I not hide in time? Is that what happened? Uh, I, I suppose I probably need to jump in there in a place that's not as crowded. I hadn't realized that was one of those restricted areas. What happened? I need to push a button. Oh, I know there were guards. <laughs> no, we'll easily get back in there. That's not an issue. Okay. Okay, yeah, here we go. This should be much easier. Stick to the rooftops. That's always a key. Oh, yeah, look at all the... Oh, snap. Hi, guys. A little careless there. Yeah, they definitely seem to... Uh, this reminds me of, I think, Assassin's Creed 1. And then I swear there were guards everywhere, and they were always spotting you. Yeah, that's why I stopped playing that one. <laughs> I never made it through that one. Started with 2 and kind of been working my way from there. Man, look at all those people. Yeah, it's a good thing he's not shy, huh? Alright. Okay, where are we going? This might not be the location I'm supposed to be in. I belong here, yeah. Y'all know me. My name's Arno. Must be the French version of Arnold, maybe? Kind of interesting, right? Just stealing your goods. Nothing to see here. Alright. Let's take it nice and slow so as not to draw attention. <laughs> well, we'll get the other chests as long as we're in here. Oh, who knows? I wonder if this is one of those, uh, you know, one of those games sometimes where you can only access an area when you're on a particular mission and, you know, once that mission's over, you can't come back. I mean, I hope that's not the case, but. Ooh. Okay, yeah, there are the guards. There's the chest. I think I can make it, though. Uh, don't see me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me, little puppet. Where did he go? Sure you'll see me on the way back. Yeah, let's hide behind this pillar. You know, it's funny. You know, it seems like kind of a minor thing, right? But considering that I'm not exactly, or I should say they're not exactly friendly to me, I would think they'd show up red like in prior versions of Assassin's Creed. Yet they look blue like if they're my allies. Yeah, I'm sure they see me. They're going to kick my butt out of here again. Hmm. All right. I don't know what you're saying. Okay, let's see what's going on behind door number one. <laughs> oh, I'm still looking for the lower gallery, huh? 
I must blend in. No one seems to question my presence here. Oh, and I need to find that chest, whatever it is. Like, what the heck is the difference between a gold chest and a regular one? Is that a blueprint? Something special? Maybe some jewels? Ooh, que pasa? Yeah, where is that? That chest must be on a higher level here. Let's, uh, can we mark it on the map? I don't think my marker is working. Okay, oh, there it goes. I guessed correctly. It is up top. I'm gonna, just real quick, you know, real quick like, just make sure that I didn't perhaps miss an opportunity to get that chest. This will also give me a sense as to whether or not people freak out from running, right? Ah, oh, shit, I messed up already. I should have known it wouldn't let me back through that door. Alright, well, let's do what we came here to do. Let's kill this dude, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. I thought I was just supposed to deliver a letter or something. Oh. this guy maybe if I can get to the main floor oh here we go that is so weird they have a cooldown on this now how strange is that am I the only one that thinks that's weird who's in the other balcony <laughs> Julie Pew, he said Pew. I see the enemies. Uh, where is. Oh, dang, there's a back balcony too. Okay. Well, I'll look there last. Let's kind of look around up here. Mm. Come on, Della said. Where are you hiding, man? the heck out of my way peeps I'm here on urgent business what in the heck really I doubt he's one of these cardinal looking dudes come on let's make this so hard Wow. Okay. Oh, great. And now they saw me. Okay, come on, guys. Let me go. Get the hell out of my way. No. no. So, what they doing? who or what will take his place? Another king? A council of capable men? That is the question, isn't it? A truce. Huh. What the devil was that about? Right. That's what I thought. <laughs> now, now. <laughs> we can resolve this without recourse to violence, can't we? Where's the Brody? Come on. Yeah. Watch out for that guy. Is that a poker? Oh, I know why the other brother's busy. Oh, I gotta parry some attacks, huh? All right, let me parry an attack or two. Easy, big fella. I was gonna say, I don't know if I can parry that. That's kind of a big sword. <laughs> okay, I will try dodging that one. Okay. There we go, that's better. And parry the brother. Okay, got it. I don't want to kill him. Okay, so dodge the big guy. Parry the little guy. Got it. I'm learning. Mm -hmm. You guys give up already? Oh, come on. Oh, snap. 
Uh, oh, what about the other two guys? Come on. They're the suspicious ones. <laughs> if you attack the kill, they will attack. The police. Oh, you guys didn't see anything. Why are you following me? <laughs> They'll probably throw rocks at me if I go uptown, right? Because that's what they do. Let's see. I'm not a dead man. Come on. Arno, why can't you jump? Can you not go... I want to say the tree was in my way. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Well, you know what? We're going to brush up on combat. I want to see what the heck's up there. I'm going to get that dang chest. Oh, my word. I am awful at this combat. I got to get better at this. This might take a little bit to get used to. That was a pretty obvious parry right there that I missed. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes, the poli. Get the hell out of the way, people. I'm, I gotta get my... I gotta get up, up, up. I gotta go uptown. Let's see. Can I go to the side before they shoot me down? Okay, good. Oh, that was a good idea. Blues LOS. Okay. Where is this chest? Like, this is really gonna bother me if I can't find it. Is that it? No, there's no way that's it. Is it? Well, I, I guess what other chest would it be, right? So, so what does a gold chest mean? What? That's it? Just more money. More money, more problems. Oh. I, huh. Am I out of the area? No. Alright. Guess let's get out of here and see what happens. I'll probably stop the stream after this segment. We'll take up the mantle again soon. No getting back in there, huh? Oh, I hope that's not really the case because there were other chests in there. Guess we'll find out. Well, that's sequence one, memory two. We've got the first two memories out of the way. Yeah, definitely noticing some very obvious differences between this game and the last one. But uh, yeah, it's kind of intriguing so far. We'll see how these differences continue to unravel as we progress. Yeah, anyone that caught the stream, thank you for tuning in. Thanks to Kid Chief for following, and uh, we'll see you guys again here real soon.